Okay guys, welcome to another Z-Star related video. Um, we're going to talk about Season 1 once more. Um, this time, things are going to be a little different. We're going to do a video talking about um, power scaling within Season 1. Um, basically, where I'm going to have a list, and I'm going to read them to you guys, like the top 20. Uh, going from 20 to number 1 on uh, weakest to strongest. Number 1 is the strongest, 20 is the weakest. And we're going to talk about why, and you know, and whatnot. And... And this is what the first the first list is going to be pretty much from Z Star's thing, like Z Star's list. And then the second list is going to be my version of what I think should have you know should be the power levels. So here's how it's going to go. Um, it's going to be pretty weird because it's not officially stated by Legend Twenty Two, um, the creator of Z Star. Um, he hasn't officially put down the power levels and whatnot, and who's stronger than who. We just have, this is going by the episodes from 1 to 10. And uh, I'm not going to include the Super Saiyan, all the Super Saiyan versions of everyone. It's too much, you know, stuff to put in there. It's going to make it even more difficult to do. Um, so I'm just going to, like, merge Super Saiyans 1 through 3 um, together. Like, aside from things like Super Saiyan 4 or, you know, Dragon Forms, those are unique transformations. Therefore, I will, I will not include them within, you know, so some, some characters will get two slots. Um, so, first of all, let me get my list because I had to write it down because this was hard to keep in my head. Because it's, it's very difficult to do these. Um, so, let me open it up. Okay. So, this is it. There are 20, 20 slots. I was going to do 21, but I decided to do 20. So, we're going to start from weakest to strongest. Okay, the weakest of everyone in Season 1. I'm not going to include Android, the androids from Episode 3, 16, 17, and 18. I'm not going to include Perfect or Imperfect Cell, and I'm not going to include um, Piccolo and Goku and Gohan. Well, Gohan wasn't in the series. Goku was, for sure. I'm not going to include, you know, those guys because, you know, they're, they, they don't have any important role. They didn't really do much. They were just there for training and whatnot and a mission. Like, they didn't really do anything um, crazy. They weren't. They weren't needed in the plot, really. They were just there, you know, for scenes and for like small scenes, like fights and whatnot. Um, so number twenty is Kobayashi, the main character. However, it's not just Kobayashi as a whole. It's Kobayashi from the first half of season one, basically from episodes one through five. Um, the reason why I didn't add him as a whole is because um, this Kobayashi, like he. He didn't, like, start weak and then stayed weak throughout Season 1. He actually got more powerful. He passed up some people later on down this list. Um, but we won't get to that. We're going to get to the, the, the weakest Kobayashi, which is, like, Kobayashi who barely uh, got Super Saiyan in Episode 2. So, basically, he's, you know, he wasn't that strong. Pretty much everyone was past him at this point. You know, everyone, like, he had to climb the ladder. Um, so, you know, he, he was pretty weak. He pretty much got destroyed in every fight he was in. And he didn't really know any better, really. Like I said, he barely got Super Saiyan, the first Super Saiyan in Episode 2. Um, and all he did was get his ass kicked. Everyone even said that he was, like, the weakest uh, so far. So he's at number 20. At number 19 is Hunter, who is just a little bit. A little bit. Originally, he was stronger than Kobayashi the first half of Season 1. Then, as the episodes went by, he, you know, he became strong. Like, he, he got Super Saiyans 1, 2, and 3 in one episode. And he started to get potential and whatnot. However, he is the second weakest in the group uh, so far. So now, number 18, you have Sam. Sam was stated to be the strongest in uh, of the group in the early episodes. But apparently that was bullshit because after that episode, he started to get his ass kicked every time. And, you know, he didn't really do anything crazy, anything spectacular. He wasn't... He never really had an advantage in most of his fights. Um... So, you know, rest in peace, he was at number 18. Now, at number 17 is Muffin Button. This was very hard because Muffin Button didn't really do much. He seemed to be strong in episode 7 because he managed to beat Kobayashi and uh, Hunter. Um, but Kobayashi stated that Muffin Button isn't really that strong. But who knows? I mean, he has potential unleashed. But aside from that, he never really went Super Saiyan. Uh, number 16 is Bojack, the space pirate. Um, the first of Earth's greatest tier. It was even said that he was the weakest of the group. So, you know, there's that. Um, so that's pretty much it right there for 16. I mean, you can't really say much about Bojack. If he, even he stated he was the weakest of his group. Um, then got 15. You got uh, legendary Super Saiyan Broly, who 
isn't that strong as well. He is pretty garbage. But anyways, like I was saying, um, number 15 is Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Um, he was pretty much a brute, and he was stated to be strong. But, um, you know, obviously he was stronger than Sam. Uh, base Sam, and all the first three forms of uh, Sam. <clears throat> so, it's no surprise that he's at number 15. He was pretty strong as well. Uh, <clears throat> he's like in the middle. Then you got 14, you got Kobayashi, the second half of season 1, which is basically from episode 6 through 10. Um, this Kobayashi was a lot stronger than the first half of season 1, and uh, he attained uh, Super Saiyan 2 in episode 7, I believe. <clears throat> Granted, he, he wasn't able to use his full power, because if he were to do that, he would have died due to um, the meddling of Darashi. Um, However, Kobayashi, he proved, you know, during episode 6 and 10, that he can still hang around, he can, he's still gotten even more powerful. He was able to, um, uh, fight Janemba, um, throughout, you know, episodes 8 and 9, um, and if they, if those two were to fight before episode 6, Janemba would have destroyed the hell out of Kobayashi much quicker than he would have, you know, in episode 9. Um, so Kobayashi is indeed at number, um, uh, what was it, uh, freaking, uh, 14. And number 13, you have Golden Frieza. Um, Golden Frieza, to be honest, he should not be in number 13. In fact, he should probably be at number 1. Uh, however, Z-Star, um, make Golden Frieza look very, very terrible. Uh, to be honest. And, you know, it's pretty sad, you know. And I've been, and I've been ranting about it for a while now. And it's been shown in, in some videos. But yeah, Golden Frieza is like Super Saiyan Blue's level. However, she was able to get defeated by uh, Vegiku, who the strongest he could go was Super Saiyan 3. And Co or Fire or Vegiku didn't even have a, a unique transformation. He didn't go Super Saiyan God, he didn't go Super Saiyan Blue, he didn't have anything crazy. He didn't have a dragon form. He was just a plain Super Saiyan 3. And he was able to win. It was just uh, pretty retarded, honestly. Um... <laughs> Ignore the retarded dog. Uh, it would have been it would have been a lot more sense had Frieza been in his 100% um, power form, like you know steroid Frieza. But that was not the case. That wasn't the issue. I, uh, they decided to make him go golden, which was a terrible mistake. But um, yeah, moving on. Okay, moving on to number 12, we have Metal Cooler, um, who honestly should be. Bello, everyone should be Bellow Golden Frieza, especially Metal Cooler. Metal Cooler is one of the weakest of Earth's greatest fear. To be honest, he should be one of the weakest. Uh, in, in fact, he should be even more weaker than Bojack. He should be the weakest, but whatever. Um, Metal Cooler, um, he, he, I can't really say he was pretty strong. I mean, he was able to, you know, keep Virus down for a long time. Um, and Virus was stated to be pretty strong. Like, in fact, one of the you know, top three strongest in uh, the Z-Star group. Um, anyways, moving on to number 11, you have Hunter in his dragon form. Um, Hunter was, uh, was a little meh, you know? I mean, he was pretty strong, but he wasn't needed to display any of his abilities, especially because it was the first time using this transformation. Uh, especially number 10, who was Sam in his dragon form. Same thing with him. Okay, um, number 9 is Vegiku. Honestly, he should not be this high, but, you know, apparently he was pretty strong. Uh, not much to be said about him. I mean, he was able to hold on, hold his own against Jirashi for a while, a week into Jirashi go, but still, nonetheless. Um, but he was at number 9, however, he got a bunch of L's throughout the season. Uh, number eight's Virus. Um, Virus did okay, I guess. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I mean, he was stated to be pretty strong, but moving on, you got number 7, Gokan. Uh, number 6, Durashi. Uh, number 5, Calvin. Uh, it was hard to put Calvin at number 5 because he didn't really display his full abilities. He was able to go Super Saiyan, and all he did was destroy Vegiku. Vegiku's not really that strong. Um, but yeah, it was pretty hard to put him in this list. Uh, number 4, you got Janemba. Janemba was alright. Uh, he was the leader, I think. And he was like the last guy to be alive um in the finale you got number three omega shenron you know he was pretty strong he was stated to be like the strongest of the group of earth's greatest fear you got number two kobayashi with the Durashi energy which was stated to be like one of you know if not 
the strongest of uh, the Star Academy Season 1 at the end. Then you got number 1 is Super Saiyan 4, Gokan. Without a doubt, he has to be the strongest because of, you know, he was able to destroy the hell out of Omega Shenron. So, and to be honest, he's only a little bit, only a little bit stronger than Kobayashi with the Durashi energy. So there you have it right there. I'm going to work on the, um, what I think the list should be, um, in a follow-up video part 2 because I'm running out of time here. So I will do that in the next video, which will probably be on Wednesday or something, maybe even Tuesday. Who knows? But yeah, see you guys in part 2.